Hey guys and welcome back to a new accumulation zone tutorial. In this video I will be explaining on how you can automate it, the new Pulse version 1 strategy we recently published here on TradingView. Let's get right into it. At first I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the Pulse version 1 strategy with three commas and afterwards I will share it also with you give you a little tutorial on how to set it up with tradelab.ai but let's get started so first of all join us on discord the link for that is in the description below and you simply you will start here in the welcome channel and you click on this button here and click here then you will get access to all of those channels here so we click on the inside the info hub section we click on broker links and we click on free commas right here so now we open up a free commerce. They also have a Black Friday sale going on. So if you always wanted to get a membership with free commerce, now is your time. There's still five days left where you, you can run beautiful DCA bots and smart money grid bots and everything else. So you can also set up your bots, for example, with your own private strategy that maybe I coded for you or with all the accumulation zone strategies that we offer, you can use all of that with free commerce. So what we actually do now, we create a new account and we click on try it for free. After successfully signing up to free commerce, we get our whole free commerce interface here and we simply click on my portfolio. And then right here inside of my portfolio, we click on connect account. Then we click on exchanges and we select Bybit. Now we're going over to Bybit and right here on Bybit, you're going to hover over your little account information button here and then you click on API. Then this little window is opening up. You, for example, if you're using Binance, it's always at your, with your user settings. So try to find your user settings or your account settings. Then most of the time you get API management in the same category. So we click on create new key. We connect it to a third party application and here we already have it free commerce. We're going to give it read and write, uh, write um, permissions here, orders, positions and derivates API version free. Everything else we can leave disabled. Then we click on submit here. So after looking up my codes, I'm clicking on confirm here. And now I'm getting the API key, the API secret and the permissions. So right now I'm going to delete those ones. So you won't be able to copy any of those API keys. I'm going to delete them afterwards after uploading this video. So what you're going to do now, you click on copy here on the API key. You go back to your free commerce and copy and paste it right into here. Then you go back to your Bybit. You click on copy on the API secret. You're going back to free commerce and you copy and paste it in here. And now we are connecting Bybit. We don't want to connect spot. We don't want to connect. Yeah, let's just add all those. After you successfully connected your exchange with free commerce, you should see your future, your spot or future trading balance right in here. And then what we're going to do is we click on plus on this plus sign on the DCA bot. And now we are going to create our DCA bot and connect it with our past version one strategy on trading view. So first of all, we're going to have to give it a name and we're going, going to call it pause version one a set strategy. We are going to use the Bybit Futures USDT per pep, Perpetual and now we're going to select Bitcoin USDT as a pair because we're only going to be using Bitcoin USDT and we have to create two bots here. So we have to create one long bot and one short bot. So first of all, we're going to have to give it a base order size. I am going to give it a base order size of, of, let's use my whole balance. Let's use 30 USDT. We are going to enter into this position with a market position. So we select market position. Now we are going to uh, here for the deal start condition, we are going to select trading view custom signal, take profit target. That's all going to be done basically by the strategy itself so we are just going to set it to 10 percent from total volume from base order and stop loss we can leave orders disabled but we can put in a safety stop loss at 
50%. Close deal. Yes. And the safety order is going to be disabled. So we are going to max safety order count to zero. And we are going to remove this to 16.5. Safety order step scale, volume scale. All right, we, all turn, we turned orders down. And now all we have to do is basically to click on create bot. Must be greater than 0 0.2. What has to be greater must be greater than 0 0.2 0 0.2 no i can't do that all right what has to be larger than 0 0.2 maybe the price deviation yes okay so perfectly now we created the long board here on free commerce we click on start and now we end up here on our information page from, from our DCA board basically this is our pause version one accumulation zone strategy DCA bot now and now what we have to do is we go down here to the messages for deal start to close order at market price to close orders at market price so what we're going to do now is we open up trading view and we have to pause version one strategy already on our chart so what we're going to do is we go inside to the settings. We are going to empty out all those fields in here. Right here. And now we're going back to the free commerce website. So now for the message for a deal start signal, we're going to show it. We are going to command C, copy this whole text. We're going back to trading view and we paste a long entry message right into here. We are going to do the same thing for the short entry message. Actually not because for the short entry message, we have to create a second bot that only goes into the short direction. Afterwards, I'm going to show you a little bit easier of a setup. It's a very, very fast process with trade level AI. So let's continue here. So we want a message for deal start signal and we want a message to close the order at market price. So we are going to copy all this without the show here at the beginning. Copy and now we go back to trading view and we paste it into. Come on. We are going to copy this whole. Text right in here. Now we're going back to trading view and we paste it into the long exit signal message. The next step in the process is to create the same bot, basically all the same settings, for example, here with the stop loss and everything else, but we have to make it a short bot. And then we copy the short entry message and the short exit message right here into our trading view script inside of the settings, right into here. And here, once that's all done, you can simply hover over the post version one strategy and click on those three dots. Then we click on add alert and we are going to select order fills only. So after we clicked on create this alert and we selected order fills only, we're now going to click on open ended so we don't have to reactivate this alert every time. Then we select webhook URL and we paste this one in here. I will share the webhook URL in the video description below. So if you're following this video step by step, simply open up the video description and this will be somewhere in there. And now we're going to give it a name. We're gonna give call it free free commerce pulse version one strategy. Inside the message box, we are now going to type two curly brackets strategy dot order dot alert underscore message to curly brackets again and afterwards we click on create and we are all done so now we can open up the alerts tab and now right in here we see the free commerce pulse version one strategy with our execution code of the strategy order alert message 
And basically what it does in here, it's very great because I coded this strategy so that you only have to set up one alert to save some space. And now it's basically reusing our alert messages that we pasted in here. And instead of strategy order.alert message, it's deciding, okay, is, this, is it a long entry signal? In case it is a long entry signal, it basically sends out this alert message, which triggers our free comma DCA bot with a message for deal start signal. So basically it triggers our deal start condition. If we go back to trading view, we see, for example, if it's detecting a long exit, like for example, right here, it would trigger instead of writing strategy order.alert message and creating four conditions for each and every scenario, it's already everything included in here. So it knows, okay, we entered into a short position here. So it, it would use the short entry code after you created your short DCA bot and your short exit code. And for your entry, it would use this code and send it out to your free commas with this webhook URL. And if it's a hitting take profit or stop loss, it would trigger the short or long exit signal with the message that you paste it in here or in here, depending if it's going long or short. And then it will send it straight to free commas and free commas is going to execute it on your exchange for you. Very simple setup. And now we are all done. We can click on OK here. And now we just have to leave this alert going on. If it's inactive, you have to reactivate it. You can simply do it by, I think, clicking on reactivate as soon as it's not active anymore. And if you want to, for example, test it first on a paper trading account, you can do so by clicking on here. You click on settings. And right here, you can select show paper trading. And now right here, and paper trading balance has to be activated. We click on activate. And now the paper tra trading balance is activated. If there's this green background around it, we're not using our real trading balance. We're only going to be using our paper trading balance. And now we will see how everything's working out and we're not trading with real funds. So that's how you can set up your free commas uh, connection to automatically trade 24 7 without having to actually enter into every push position yourself manually and it's already set up the second option how to automate the pulse version one strategy here with a trading view alert is going to be with tradelab.ai it's actually a little bit of a simpler solution even though the free comma setup didn't take us too long so basically you can also start here for free you can have two trading bots for free i think just read everything here on the website after signing up you will see here this interface and right now you can click on the community browser and here you already see it this little moonwalking guy with the bitcoin in its hand that's the strategy so we just simply are going to click on this one here and now we are going to click on copy setup here on the right this will make a copy of the strategy for you to edit and use yourself. If the strategy changes in the future, you will not receive updates, blah, blah, blah. We click on yes. And now inside the my strategy section, we have a copy of the um, pause version one, a set profitable strategy for Bitcoin USDT one hour chart. The next step that we have to do now is obviously connect our trade lab account to our Bybit or Binance or whatever crypto exchange you're basically using connected with trade lab it's you you do it the same way you also have to get your api key same as i showed in the um, free commerce tutorial so what we're going to do now is we're going to click here on edit after copying the strategy it's loading the strategy builder and then you simply click here on alerts and you start to copy the the pass version one buy signal so we're copying the buy signal we are going back to trading view we are going inside our settings here and instead of the free commas message right now we copy the buy signal message right in here we are going back to trade lab we are copying the pass version one sell signal message right here copy going back to trading view again and we paste it in here into the short entry field here inside the settings then we're going back to trade lab ai we copy the pass version one by exit alert message 
go back to trading view and paste into the long exit field right here inside the settings and one last time we're going to copy the sell exit message go back to trading view and paste it in here afterwards we click on ok and all you have to do now is click on add alert on pass version one we're selecting order fills only this time we are going to use the webhook url that's being suggested here so webhook url we just copy one they all should be the same ones we go back to trading view and we copy and paste the webhook url in here we are going to call this one um, trade lab.ai pulse version one strategy without a capital T. So now inside the alert message section, all we're going to write again is two curly brackets. And we are going to write in here strategy dot order dot alert underscore message again with two curly braces and afterwards we simply click on create and now the alert will pop up in here the trade lab lab.ar pass version one strategy and now it's doing exactly the same thing as i explained it before now all we have to do is like said connect our trade lab account to our exchange to our preferred exchange you can also connect it to for example the bybit testnet and then it's already starting to copy the signals. That's all you have to do. It's a very quick setup where you don't have to create a separate bot. You can simply click here on the community browser, search for the Pulse version one accumulations on strategy, click on it, and then you click here on copy setup. All right, guys, I really hope you learned something from this video, maybe on how to automate your own trading view strategy and send the signals to either tradelab.ai or free commerce they both offer free trials and free plans where you can create i think one or two dca bots and you can copy one or two strategies directly on trade lab or free commerce so it's a it's very handy to know because you don't have to be sitting in front of the screen the whole time or wait for an alert and then you have to enter it manually you can simply connect it with one of those two providers that i suggested you to use and you can run with it and let it trade 24 7 and achieve those results by risking one percent per trade one thing i have to mention only with tradelab.ai you're able to actually risk one percent per trade but you also need the capital for it otherwise you simply have to stick to the trading view strategy backtester for your equity curve where we had a total net profit of 7.46 percent and what you would do here to simulate your results as we are going to say we are going to enter with like we did on the free commerce setup with 30 usdt we might have i don't know let's say one thousand dollar on our account we click on ok and we see we would have made a total profit of 5.87 percent with a total drawdown of 0 0.98 percent very nice results and that's how you automate strategies with free commerce or tradelab.ai.